move on to a story of sisterhood, generosity, and love. Uh, Niantic nurse recently gave her best friend really the ultimate gift by carrying her baby for her. Such a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. News 8 Sarah Cody heads to Niantic for this special story in today's Connecticut Families Report. <laughs> I'm just in awe that she's here. It doesn't feel real. Like, I feel like I'm going to wake up from a dream. For years, Caitlin DiDonato and her husband Michael hoped for a little one. But Caitlin had fibroids and was told by doctors that she couldn't safely carry a baby. They suggested the couple use a surrogate. She needed to be a mom. I knew that. I knew that from the moment that we were, you know, children playing dolls together that she's meant to be a mom. So Caitlin's longtime best friend and maid of honor stepped up and offered to carry the baby. The emergency room nurse at Lawrence and Memorial Hospital was already a mother of two children. It was something that kind of sparked in my mind, like, oh, I could do that. I am eternally and forever grateful for, for that offer. The DiDonatos accompanied Casey to checkups during the pregnancy. The busy mom had terrible morning sickness and leaned on her husband, Ryan, for support. It was uh, very much uh, a team decision without even having to talk, right? I mean... We were on the journey with them. The birth and everything was just perfect. Caitlin and Michael were also there when Casey delivered at her workplace, l &M. The hospital was amazing. All the labor and delivery nurses were fabulous. The first little cry of, you know, of her voice, all three of us were, were you know, it's like a shock and tears. And it was, it was magical, really. It was just awesome, right? It was beautiful. Now, little Kay has a big family that surrounds her with love. She'll grow up understanding the beauty of friendship and generosity, as exhibited by her namesake, Auntie KC. Intense gratitude. So I just keep telling her thank you, but I just, it's not enough. <laughs> so beautiful. Now, Casey has had three C-sections now, so her days of pregnancy are done. But the DiDonatos are looking forward to partnering with another surrogate soon to welcome another baby to their family. And to see this wonderful piece again, you can just head on over to the Connecticut Family section of WTNH.com. I'm Sarah Cody, News 8.